Okay, we're going to look at some settings on this uh, compact camera here that will allow you to change the, the size and quality of the images that the camera takes. So um, let's just switch it on and we'll press the menu button and have a look at some of the options there. So you see that there's a bunch of different options here in the menu. We're going to choose shooting and look at these two settings here at the top, photo size and quality. So first of all, let's look at photo size and you'll see this camera gives us a number of options to shoot photographs um, using a certain number of megapixels. So it's currently set to 5, but this camera goes way up to 14 megapixels. So let's just set that one. And also back in the settings, let's also, also change the quality. Now this camera has three quality settings. It's currently set to normal, but there's also a fine setting and a super fine. So let's set that. Okay, so that means we now have uh, the camera set to use its best quality, 14 megapixels, super fine images. However, this does mean that each image will take up a lot of uh, file space, um, so you'll be able to take less photographs, store less photographs on your memory card. However, it's always best when you're going to be doing some photo manipulation in Photoshop to start work with the best quality image that you can. Okay, in this video we're going to look at the image quality settings on this camera. It's a Nikon D3200 DSLR camera. Um, we'll switch it on and we'll look at the menu options um, on the back of the camera here. So let's just press the menu button. And we'll see here we have image size and image quality that we can adjust. So let's just choose image size first of all. And this camera gives us three different options here. Small image, which is 6 megapixels. Medium, which is 13 and a half megapixels. And then large, which is 24 megapixels. So let's go for this large option. Okay, under the image quality, we've got quite a number of options here. We have JPEG file format, format uh, basic, normal and fine. And you would typically use JPEG uh, for kind of day-to-day -day work. But um, if you're a professional photographer, you probably want to shoot using this file format here, which is called the RAW file format. Now, RAW allows you to do, do lots more editing. Um, it gives you much more control over the image. Um, and that's why it's chosen by most professionals. However, the problem with RAW files is you can't view them on, on every single computer. You need specialist software to be able to view those files. So I'm going to choose this top option here, which is RAW and JPEG, which means that when I take a photograph, it saves it in two different formats, both RAW and JPEG. Okay, so you may decide that you want to get the best out of the uh, camera which is attached to your mobile phone. So uh, let's have a look at the camera on this phone here and look at some of the settings and options that that has. Now, you wouldn't expect a camera to have all of the options that a professional camera might have or even um, a, a pretty good um, compact camera, but um, these cameras that are built into smartphones are getting better and better. You see that there are a whole bunch of different options here that you can change, but let's look at the uh, quality settings here. And this camera offers a number of different quality settings, um, 2 megapixels, 3 megapixels or 5 megapixels. You'll see that you can also change the aspect ratio of the image from 4 to 3 to 16 to, uh, by 9, which means that you can uh, shoot for um, viewing on a, an HD television. Okay, if you choose a 4x3 um, option, then that's kind of a squarer option, a bit more like your kind of traditional old style television.